Hi from Gecko Land. I just oh my god scripting your dirties. I just wanted to make a video on how to buy a healthy gecko. Um, it's very important that the gecko has nice clear eyes, is alert, is active, its tail is intact, and the same size or larger than the width of their hips. Um, it's really important that your the gecko has clear eyes, a cloudy eye. It can be a sign of some sort of illness or parasite or something that's going on wrong with your gecko. So you can see this is it's nice, good size. She's nice and plump. Make sure they're not missing any fingers. Just give them a little count. As you can see, she's missing one. I got her from a breeder, but we still love her. Not uncommon for a gecko to lose their tail, but it is really hard on their system. That's where all their fat's being stored. Also, when you're buying, don't buy a baby. Don't buy hatchling. It's just asking for trouble. You don't, you don't want to take the chance of it being so tiny that it, it won't survive. Just get a juvenile or older. It's it's just best. Juveniles are about three inches long. And they're a little bit chubby and they're more active and hyper than the older geckos. Not older, but you know, a little bit older. And um, don't buy from a pet store. I know people say don't buy from a pet store, but I'm going to say it again. Don't buy from pet store. Just try to find a breeder. Ask around. There's a lot of message boards and there's a lot of really good breeders out there. Just trying to locate one that preferably you know somebody or you can find a message board that has lots of good reviews on the the breeder. There's so many beautiful geckos. You know, so many different ones to choose from. Most importantly, health. Health, health, health. And then comes the beauty of the leopard gecko because if it's not healthy then it's not going to survive and you won't have a beautiful gecko anymore so that's about it and you all have a great day and happy hunting for your new gecko bye now thanks for watching gecko land